But let's talk hardcore and head over to Steph and Sam for an interview with the Mouth of Madness and Krypton. The Mouth of Madness, you're a hardcore veteran and you've been gracing the stages at DEF CON 1 for quite some time. Yes. How can you say DEF CON has evolved over the time that you've been there? Well, I think the most important thing that happened the last 10 years um, is that they moved from Almere to Biddinghuizen. Right. That gave them more opportunities uh, also to embrace newer styles, other styles, and get more stages. And from that moment on, it developed uh, to this big uh, festival of the hardest style, maybe the biggest festival of the hardest styles of the world mm. uh, that it is uh, until this day. And you did also have a very special experience on the red stage sure. in 2018. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, I think you referred to Peacock in Concert, right? Yes, it yes. was. Peacock in Concert. Well, that was crazy. Yeah. I mean, like, this is really... I'm sure this is the biggest thing that happened for me as an MC, to be at uh, the red stage in 2018. Yeah. Because... It was a little gamble, you know. It was a gamble that Qdance took by putting us uh, with Dr. Peacock uh, with a crossover style like this on the main stage. But at the end of the day, it really worked out well because um, it was an experience for everybody, for people who loved hard style and actually not being into the French core or like the alternative uh, harder styles, you know. It was like refreshing and a lot of people really liked it. Fantastic. Now, one of the rising stars of French Core is yourself, Krypton. Welcome, thank you for joining us. Thanks. You were on the yellow stage at DEF CON last year, right? Yeah. How was that for you? It was crazy. It was like 35 degrees, it was hot as hell, like no shadow at all, and people were going mental. It's insane to see, seriously. The dedication over there is, is, is like next level. And the Yellow Stage has been growing in popularity over the years. Why do you think people are choosing to go to the Yellow Stage um, as opposed to all the other harder stages that are available? I think that's uh, there's like happening something different at the Yellow Stage. Okay. Like the um, like I said, the vibe over there is really crazy. The dedication to see, and it's uh, for some people it might be like something to. Uh, experience out of the box. Yep. Like uh, you see people going to uh, the hardstyle stage, the red stage for the whole day and then just experience something else at other stages like the yellow. Yep. And that's cool to see. Do you think that the yellow should be the biggest stage? Just between you and Definitely. Me? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want to see the, the 40,000 people at 200 BPM? Perfect. Do you feel like the barriers and the walls and the lines between genres uh, uh, are getting broken down? Do you think that it's not so hard, or, or like we're not going from this stage or we're not going from that stage, that you know, there's a, more of a blurred line between the genres? So it's more like um, people seem to like experimenting. Okay. Uh, like the, the artists, uh, so even in the art style scene it's happening, like taking elements from different styles of music, uh, playing different types of music in the sets, just to uh, think a little bit out of the box. And it's happening in the art style, in the art core, it's happening everywhere, and that's really good to see. That's good. So, where can we see you guys performing at the DEF CON 1 weekend? Um, so, on the Friday, uh, with the gathering, I will host the Black. And on Saturday, you can find me at the Gold. Nice. Krypton? I'm back at the Yellow Stage uh, on the Sunday, so I'm really looking forward to it. Demath of Madness and Krypton, thanks for joining us right here at the release. Thank, Thank you.